John David Baker went to become the offensive coordinator at East Carolina. So this opens up a second spot on Lane Kiffin's staff. Wide receivers coach, tight ends coach Joe Cox from Alabama is a name we've heard for tight ends coach. Kelvin Bolden was reported to become the next Ole Miss tight ends coach by Football Scoop weeks ago, and I actually wrote a column praising the move by Lane Kiffin. That has not happened yet. He's a former wide receiver in college. He coached wide receivers at Florida and elsewhere as an assistant to an assistant. So for you, what does Lane need to be looking for here as far as filling out the two positions on his staff that have opened up? <laughs> a placeholder. I'm not trying to make light of it, but uh, uh, I think there are a lot of a lot of guys out there that could coach that group to success. And uh, you know, and I, I don't I don't mean that literally. Uh, they're gonna there's some technical stuff that uh, a new coach is going to have to get. I'm I'm intrigued by the idea that being thrown around about Kelvin Bolden being promoted as a wide receiver coach because I've been told that he's got a really good offer at another school uh, to be the wide receiver coach that if he's not promoted here, that he's, he's liable to take it. And I think Kelvin's been a big part of the recruiting mechanism here at Ole Miss. And I'd hate to see him go too. This would be more of a natural fit for Kelvin Bolden. If you're trying to get him on the field, he was a former wide receiver, a coach wide receivers, like I said, at Florida and elsewhere, and maybe would help explain why when football reported that weeks ago that Kelvin Bowles was going to get promoted to tight ends coach because this was potentially coming open, which was more of a fit anyway. I thought tight end might be a little awkward for him, um, a little uncomfortable because he's never been a tight end or, or coached tight ends, but he has been a wide receiver. He has coached wide receivers, um, you know, in some capacity and, you know, everybody's got to get their first shot sometime, and I think he's been a, such a proven commodity on the recruiting trail that uh, I just don't see how you how you ignore that possibility. Now, uh, Lane is a guy that does things his own way, and he, like you say, there might be a B. Brown out there that we're not even considering or thinking about, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I think a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, so to speak, and Calvin Bolden is definitely the bird in the hand. 